Today's video topic is hypospadias. Hypospadias is a common birth defect in boys, which the opening of the urethra is not at the tip of the penis. Instead, the opening is somewhere along the underside of the penis. It is one of the most common birth defects in boys and occurs in about one out of every 200 male births. Types of hypospadias. Hypospadias is classified into four main types based upon its location on the penis. Number one, granular or subcoronal. The opening is located on the head of the penis, glands. Number two, penile. The opening is located on the shaft of the penis. Number three, scrotal. The opening is located near the scrotum. Number four, perineal. The opening is located between the scrotum and anus. Symptoms of hypospadias. The most obvious symptom of hypospadias is the abnormal placement of the urethral opening. Other symptoms may include a downward bending of the penis, and it occurs in 15% of the hypospadias patients. Other symptoms include a hooded foreskin, an abnormal shape of the penis, and problems with urination, such as spraying or having to sit down to urinate. The patient may also have an undescended testicle, where one testicle or two may remain inside the body. Causes of hypospadias The exact causes of hypospadias is still unclear, but it is likely that genetic and environmental factors play a role. It is believed that the condition is a result of a combination of genes and hormone imbalances that occurred during fetal development and impact the development of the penis. Diagnosis of hypospadias The diagnosis of hypospadias is done after birth. The doctor will investigate the position of the urethral opening and will check to see if there is any curvature. Then, the doctor will tell you about the severity of the condition and the available treatment options. Treatment Options of Hypospadias In some situations, if the condition is not severe and there's no curvature in the penis, then no treatment is needed. But if the condition is severe, then the treatment for hypospadias typically includes surgical correction. This involves repositioning the urethral opening at the tip of the penis and reconstructing the foreskin. If there is any curvature in the penis, it will also be corrected. If the hypospadias is severe, a skin graft may be used to cover up the opening. In some cases, a tissue flap may also be used, so the child should not be circumcised before the surgery. The takeaway here is that if your child is diagnosed with hypospadias, it is important to speak with a specialist to discuss treatment options. With proper treatment, most boys with hypospadias can have a normal, healthy life and normal urinary and reproductive function. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.